dear friends the church is the living body of christ we all are living organs of the church christ is the head and each one of us whether bishop priest religious men women or all lay people the old the young children men women all of us each one of us is the living member living organ of the body of christ in order to live this reality in our daily life we have kind of made small christian communities we all must participate actively in the life of the church because it is the living body just as every organ of the body every part of the body is kind of uh, together doing its own work but also participating in the life of one person so should we be when it comes to living the mystery of the church and therefore tomorrow you will all be involved the first sunday of lent we will have the word of god as the clear direction giving to our life we will have received the body of christ we will have prayed together unitedly my dear people please consider tomorrow's election to be servant leader an invitation from god it is an invitation from god because it is god in jesus christ our lord and savior founded the church and that church we are and so therefore please consider to become the servant leader if one is elected please consider that as an invitation from god and all people who take part in this procedure of election please think that you are participating in god's work he invites you number 2 once you elect the kind of leader you think is the best for our church in that particular uh, unit in that particular parish in our diocese that servant leader needs support of all don't leave him alone please don't leave him or her alone we all have to support that leader we have to be together with the leader we can correct we can suggest we can uh, propose but everything should be done respecting the election that sevak neta as we call the servant leader needs your support active support your participation because that is the mystery of the church and third point unless church moves forward conscious of her faith faith of each member but not only faith together with faith the reason together with faith our uh, ability to to think that is also very important so faith and reason like two wings of the same bird we must all move forward for which in order to develop our uh, reason we must have from time to time ongoing formation formation is essential we must know what does our church teach us we must know 
what how do we understand the word of god we must know what is god telling me through signs of the time we must know what are the challenges before us we must know what kind of society in which we live what do we need to do what is our share in building up of the society of our country for example but more important what and how the church must move like a living body so that it grows she also spreads and for this there is no alternative but ongoing formation regular ongoing formation with these three points number 1 invitation from god to become active and good leader in the church second support of all to that leader once elected and third ongoing formation regular ongoing formation i appeal to you please move forward with these three points tomorrow i will personally pray in my mass for all of you i will be in the missions in talasari doing the scrutiny of those who have asked to be baptized i will pray for each one of you so that you consider this as a sacred kind of a uh, uh, act which we will be involved in tomorrow in the procedure of uh, elections of community leaders choose good leaders support them and form yourselves well have a good sunday of first sunday of lent and pray for me thank you